Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to solve two-step equations. Now let's review the rules of equations. Whenever you are solving for x or any variable and you have an equation, um, you always have to think of the equation like a scale, okay? And a scale, in order to be balanced or equal, the left side has to be the same level as the right side, right? And so it works just the same way as an equation. Let's say that I had four gold bars on each side of this scale, okay? It would be equal. They, they would be the same weight, so they would be even. Now, if I took away two gold bars from the left side, I would have to take two bars away from the right side in order for it to stay even, to be an equation, right? Now, let's suppose we were going to add a bar to the left side. Well, we would have to add a bar to the right side as well to keep it even. Okay? Now, it's also true for multiplication and division. Um, if I were to multiply by 2, let's say, I would have to double the left side or multiply it by 2 and do the same thing to the right side, multiply it by 2 as well. And so, whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side. And so, always remember that. So let's take a look at a, a few two-step equations. The only difference between this and a one-step is that it takes two steps to get through it. So here's a pretty typical example of one. 3x minus 4 equals 11. Now our goal is to get find out what x equals. And so the way that we do it is we um, get rid of the minus 4 and the 3 so that we have x by itself and it'll give us the answer. Now, what do you do first? You always take care of the uh, constant, as we call it, the whole number. That minus 4 is going to be what we get rid of first, and then we'll deal with the multiplying 3 later. So we do the opposite of minus 4 on both sides. And by the way, it's always a good idea to put a little dotted line down your uh, the equal sign so you know that you're doing it to both sides of the equation. Anyway, that negative 4 cancels out. And we are left with 3x equals 15. 11 plus 4 is 15. Then we have a 3 multiplying x. And to undo that multiplying 3, we divide by 3 on both sides. That cancels out our 3, and we end up with x equals 5. Okay, not too bad. We're going to keep doing a few more. Here we go. So we have 6x plus 8 equals 32. We are going to take care of the plus 8 first by subtracting it on both sides. That cancels it out, and we are left with 6x equals 24. We then undo that multiplying 6 by dividing by 6, cancel that out, and we are left with x equals 4. Okay. Now we have one where it's x divided by 5 plus 2 equals 8. Now we're going to still take care of the constant, that plus 2. And so we're going to uh, do the opposite, which is subtract 2 on both sides. And we are left with x divided by 5 equals 6. Now we're going to, in order to get rid of a dividing 5, you do the opposite, which is multiply by 5 on both sides. By doing that, a 5 over 5 turns out to be 1, and so you end up with 1x equals 30. Okay. Now sometimes the x is on the right side, and you do the same thing uh, as you did before. Uh, it just looks different. So we're going to take care of that minus 5 first, that constant. We're going to add 5 to both sides, canceling it out, and we are left with 14 equals 7x. That 7 times x needs to be undone. So we're going to divide by 7, canceling it out, and we get 2 equals x. But when you're given your final answer, always flip that around and have x equals 2. That's the proper way, because you're solving for x. You're not solving for 2. 
Okay. Now, sometimes we deal with negatives as well. So you just have to, uh, if you haven't got that far, then uh, you'll want to practice that first. So we uh, want to undo that constant, that plus 4. And so we're going to subtract 4, both sides. We are left with negative 2x equals 7. Then we divide by negative 2 on both sides. So we can cancel that out to a positive 1. And we get x equals, now this isn't going to be a whole number. It's actually going to be a, um, it's a simplified fraction. So you can actually just leave it as negative 7 over 2. It doesn't matter where the negative is. If it's on the 7 out front or on the 2, it's the same value. Or you could put it into decimal form like negative 3.5. Okay. And so that would be your answer. Okay, two-step equations aren't that bad, right? Anyway, if you uh, need to go over it again, I encourage you to watch it so you really get a good grasp before you go to the next steps into multi-step equations. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.